Their arrests were seen as political statements at the time. Now their mugshots have become iconic symbols of the civil rights movement of the 1960s. The Freedom Riders, as they became known, traveled on buses throughout the summer of 1961 to parts of the southern United States where segregation was still being enforced. The Riders were often met with outright hostility in the form of violent attacks by mobs and the Ku Klux Klan. They also faced arrest and many spent weeks in county jails, one of whom was 19-year-old New Yorker Louis Zuckman. I was shackled, taken from one uh, from the county jail, walking along with other prisoners, and the judge who had sentenced me saw me and spit on me. The judge. So you began to realize how frightening it was. The bus was preceded by a half dozen highway patrol cars. Watching the first group of Freedom Rides was LaVon Brown from Jackson, Mississippi. At just 16, he was inspired to join the movement, which would later bring some frightening moments. The Klan came after us one night with the help of the local police. And, um, you know, so we sort of escaped by jumping off the roof of a building next to us. The Klan came up the stairs, the front door. We almost got killed. The Freedom Riders' treatment by local authorities sparked a national outcry, eventually forcing the federal government to act and inspiring the wider civil rights fight for the rest of the decade. Now, LaVon and I have been together with all this stuff forever. Zuckman and Brown became friends. Lou and I know each other so well that we could go out and he could tell my story, I could tell his. Both Zuckman and Brown regularly appear together to talk about their experiences to a new generation, one still grappling with issues of systemic racism. Everybody wants, you know, the big explosion. And I mean, it can be as simple as putting your arm around somebody. That can be a revolutionary act, depending on where you are. Even at 79, Zuckman is still helping minorities through his organization, Scar Harbor, which supports disadvantaged children in New York. One of the special things about the Freedom Ride is that it brought together young people, white, African-American, male, female, throughout America. It was a unique moment where we came together as a country. We must end segregation in our schools. A moment that still resonates 60 years later. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.